All right, so boys, it, it occurred to me that I may not have gone over the decals while I was recording this on my stream while I was streaming live on Twitch, so I thought that I would go ahead and show you guys all the decals that come with the Cyclone as well. You get the Bat Boy. I did this in two different two different teams. I have like the red one, which was uh what kind of the color scheme that we were using when we opened this stuff while we were streaming. Then I made a blue car one, which I used Ananized as my paint finish on the first one. So I feel like this car just kind of looks sleeker with an Ananized, but I wanted to have a glossy on glossy as well, like on the orange team, so you can see all the lines on each of the decal. Um, Bat Boy, it's pretty good, but I don't think I would ever use it. Flames is the, the same kind of thing. Like Flames, every car has a Flames decal, right? Then you have the LITA99, which makes this car look like a race. Great, it's great. I'll probably use this decal, honestly, whenever I'm not using like uh, my Dissolver or my Bubbly or something. I really like how this one looks. Um, The Sliver one, I don't like it too much. It kind of gives the effect like your car is painted. You get a little bit of where trim could be, which is white, but that's about all of the decal. I'm sure that if you have a Sliver and you use it with a painted Cyclone as well, you could probably pull off some pretty clean, nice looking cars. And again, oh no, I just feel like this this car looks good and anonized. Um, stripes as well. Stripes. Every car has stripes. It's like flames, right? I mean, nothing, nothing special. There's two straight down the middle. And then whiteout. Whiteout is actually. I don't know. I feel like this decal has a bit, a bit going on. There's a bunch of different gradients up in the front, and people might be able to find some pretty cool colors to go within that. I don't know. This decal could be pretty cool. I feel like this out of the three or the three, the three decals, the six decals that it has, actually looks the worst with anonized, but. I feel like most of the other ones look really good with Ananized as the first paint finish. But yeah, I just thought that I'd throw those in there for you guys. I prefer using the Dissolver. I like this white car with it. Just, I don't know. I'm a Dissolver guy right now, but hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Peace. Alright, what, what was the new car as well? Listen to its engine sound while we're here. Guys, yeah, what was the new car name? I actually have no idea. Octane? It's new. Cyclone, let's go. Dude, this car looks pretty sick to be honest. It looks pretty sick. It's a it's a breakout decal, right? Listen or a breakout hitbox, right? Listen to the engine as well. Sounds pretty good to be honest. Right? Pretty good. I mean, I'm turning my game sound back down, so I'm not gonna hear it that much, but uh, not bad. Yeah, let's play a game or two with it real quick, just to see how it is. Why not, right? Hit 120 on a mountain pass on that car, oh hell yeah. It? That engine's pretty loud in it, honestly. It's per Yeah, it does per it does per Looks so weird with the hat, yeah. yeah it's, uh, let's change my overlay again. Back to how it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. And turn back on stream notification. Whoa. By the way, sorry if anyone subbed or anything and I missed it. I'll look over that right now to see if any of y'all did. Didn't look like it. That's okay, I didn't miss anyone. Let's go. Let's go. Hello, <laughs> yeah, what's up, my man? Welcome, welcome. Thanks for the sub, my dude. You're the best, you're the best. Just in time for you. Now, I, I want to see how this, uh, how this car looks painted, though. Who won the battle? Okay. I think I did, but there's a bit of confusion in the scoring. Okay, okay. We don't know. It's close enough. Everyone lost. What's the hitbox? It's the it shares a hitbox with the breakout. For some reason turning it feels a little slow to me though. I'm not sure why. It could just be in my head though. Oh these wheels as well were from the crate. These are They're the default color of the wheels. Psyonix is the real winner, that's what I'm saying, dude. 
The back end looks disgusting. Oh, the boost is so far apart. What the hell? Wait, look at it when I'm boosting on the ground. Do you see, like, the trail? That's kind of cool, actually. Wait. That's kind of cool. I dig that, actually. I like having it a bit farther apart. Show the wheels with burnout boost. No, I like that the booster this far away. It feels unique compared to all other cars. Car looks really long plus narrow for a hit breakout hitbox. Um, let's see if it a phases through any part of the car. Doesn't really phase through the front front at all. Well, the back. Not entirely, really. It's hitting like a bit above, but if you hover burnout, it makes the makes the tires look cool. We'll do it after this game. Hopefully, hopefully we join all the way. Another pay to win car. I don't know about that yet. Well, breakout is a uh, it's a little bit longer than Dominus and a little bit like slimmer, like from left to right. I feel like this car kind of matches that. I want to go for it. What oh, scored that in Dominus, Kappa? Oh, Oates wasn't following it. I guess I could have. He might be low boost, that's why he didn't go. Engine sounds pretty rad, honestly. I dig it in-game. I thought it'd be the kind of sound that might only feel good, like sound good in the garage, but it sounds good in-game as well. It does. Oh, too bad we're on blue team. Now this car like doesn't match at all. Unlucky. Whew! What a play. Easy peasy for me and the boy. Breakout fam, nah. Losing weight right now. Think you're not using the actual car's engine? I think I am. I have it on default for the car. Should be on it. Nomad's a bit far. Block though. Not going quite early enough. See if we can get a good flick with this car. Okay, I dropped it too early. Couldn't pick it back up by then. Maybe a redirect? No, I missed. Feels bad, man. Good luck out some defense. Never mind, that guy hit a banger. What car is this? It's the new car, it's the Cyclone. Cyclone progress! I like touch by him. I was trying to hit it mid off the bounce. Got to the bounce before me though. Well, this car definitely feels as long as it is as well. It feels like it's as long as a breakout should be. I think that's because the car is like kind of narrow. It makes it look long, but that fits fits what it should be. Go for this. Oh, I shouldn't have. Went down farther than I thought. Feels bad, man. How's the weight distribution? Car feels like it turns near the middle. Um, like a couple cars, they kind of feel like they tip over at some points, and like it almost feels like it turns faster after you get like over a certain point in your turn. Feels like fairly even though. Oh, he almost passed it for me. That first touch by me, though. I wanted to try to start a bounce dribble with it. See if I could hold it up with it. Hey, no bump, either. It does just kind of feel like a breakout, though. Understandable for it to be a breakout hitbox. 
I don't think I mind it though. Hasn't been a new breakout hitbox in so long. This turned into a face cam streaming, yeah, I guess it did. Yes, it did. Uh, I can't go in for the 50 yet. Just gonna take boost instead. Seems like I made him take it to the other side as well. But that worked out. Just by being there. Holy, what a goal. I think I like this car though. I don't think it's too bad. I don't know if it will be enough to make me go back and play, uh, play like breakouts again though. Should be able to get a shot from here, yeah. Maybe not. Dribble some. I demo. Feels bad, man. I was hitting savage bangers in the breakout. I was. I was. Oh, damn, he went the other side. Thought that I would hit it opposite. Just stay mid form. Maybe we can get a redirect or something from this. I'm gonna try to hit a redirect in the car to see if I feel like the front. Ends as well as I feel like it should. Match the breakout. Redirects are like such a good way to get a feel for how the car hitbox matches the the visuals at least. I qualify for Universal Open. No, not yet. We're in West Qualifier. Starts is tomorrow. Starts tomorrow. That's fine, right? Yeah. Spawn. I'm gonna wait for it. This is bad, man. This car almost looks more like a plank or a, uh, or a Batmobile hitbox more than a breakout though. Like it just kind of looks flat while playing. It could be the foam hat on it that makes it look flat though. It does that to some cars. What a flick! What is this car doing? That's savage. That's actually a savage flick. Holy. That was a banger of a flick. See if we can do like a um... What is it? A flip reset with it real quick? Like a good one. Not an air dribble. Come on, bro. Oh, that's the car right here. The white, the white and red. Do the burnout thing? Oh, we'll try it in a second with the wheels. Okay, you can kind of see when I'm air dribbling, by the way, where the hitbox actually differs a little bit when it was on top of my car there. When it's kind of bouncing off of it, you can see where the hitbox is. Because it kind of floats above the tip of the car. It extends a little bit farther with this car than the visuals do. At least on the top of the cart, if you go like towards near the bottom, this the hitbox, the breakout I think is slanted a little bit, a little bit more so than other cars. So you can see on the bottom it goes through a bit, but on the top it kind of lays on it perfectly. Just depends what part you hit it with. Hitbox elevation, that's what we were thinking of. Hitbox is elevated a little bit more. So when you're going from the bottom of the car, it kind of clips through. <laughs> Which matches the hitbox of Breakout, so makes sense. Not to do, what's up, my man? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks for your support. Do you stall so easily? You don't. Hard. Miss them like half the time almost. Gotta practice a lot. Ah, 
Oh no, I kind of like how it feels. It gives me the uh, the hitbox of the Breakout, which I used to enjoy a lot. But I feel like this card looks a lot better than the Breakout. That's honestly one of the things I didn't like about Breakout too much. I didn't like how the how it looked. Let's go. No. Didn't want a front flip there. Wanted to stall. There's no music playing as well. Yeah, I know. Just for a little bit longer. Aw, oh, no stall there. Some stalling out, Slim now. Oh, good, the, the burnout boost. All right, we'll see the wheels with it. Wait a minute. Pretty good to be honest. Oh, let's leave it. Let's leave it on for a second. Sorry, chat. Pretty good. Be fair. No, I think my favorite part with this car is honestly the boost trail. I like how far apart they are. It like distinctively shows you two different trails. Where a lot of the ones where they're close they're closer together on the car and it looks almost just like one thicker trail. This is like distinctly two trails, and I enjoy that. I think it makes it look cooler. Doubled the value of my alpha boost with it, yeah. I've made my alpha boost cost twice as much because you can see there's two trails coming from it. Augers. Makes a boost press trail for some cool effects. You probably could. Because the boost and the trails are so close to each other, there might be some boost and trails that line up well enough that leave like a cool, a cool pattern with each other. Your story. <coughs> that was that was empty. Feels bad, man. But I guess we'll never play a second game with the cyclone. What the hell? Never will. Oh, what flamethrower looks kind of dope, actually. I like that. Not, not that good. I wanted to see like how close they were to the ground, or like to each other. Fairly close, but not like that close. Ions would probably look good with some uh, with some trails. Oh, dude, look how many nuts and bolts we can throw out of our ass. Let's go. Whole bunch of cob out of this one.
I don't know, I like the boost out of this, to be honest. Look how big Thermal is, holy. We're using that. Holy, look how much boost we have. What a big trail of boost, holy. No one can see past that. We're actually smoke screening. Holy. Wait, the Jig Tactic? Maybe. You actually might be able to. So much boost comes out of this car. You get something that's maybe a bit better than Thermal for this. You might be able to blind <laughs> people with it. Because the boost is so spread out. It leaves like a bigger area for it. Aidbri, what's up? What's up? Thanks for your Twitch Prime sub. Thanks for supporting, my dude. Oh, this beer. I'm going in, dude. I'm going in for this new meta. Maybe we can, uh, we can blind someone in this game somehow. Basically 200 boost? That's what I'm saying. Might as well be. Oh, wait for his touch. Oh, this car is so good. Never mind. That was just mediocre. Ah, oh, didn't block. I was way too slow for the block. Be weak touch, yeah? Make it back. Thank god I got the bump. Did he make it in? Yes, let's get it. Easy peasy. Well, this car is long enough that I'm going to try to make it go back right whichever side my teammate does. A longer car, I feel, is easier to make a kickoff go to the back. This has the breakout hitbox. Might as well use it as our advantage. Well, we can. I'm just gonna get that. I'm gonna try to get mid boost from him though. I don't want to stay low. I was trying to just cause confusion. I was hoping I might be able to get the ball middle out of all of that. I caused enough. No problem. Try to get some pads while I'm back. Trying to get demo, get a bit more boost. I'd like zero anyway. Do they have a flip? I think so, right? Ah, oh, Torment actually got to the boost. Just stay across. Maybe it'll get a heavy touch. I cut it off. I went too greedy for boost. Didn't need to there. Just stayed back a bit. Didn't want Squishy to take that, so I just went ahead and took it. No! I should have saved that. I waited way too long. I should have went up and went up for more of a cutoff on the pass rather than raiding for the shot there. Good pass though. Aw oh, damn, he got it over me. Good luck, roll Diz. You got it, bud. Oh, I missed the bump. Feels bad. I shouldn't have went for the bump, should've just went back. Trusted that he could have got it. We go back left. If you can need a solo play. Getting boost. Let's go. Such a good car, XD. You went for the last one, right? No. Okay, whoopsie. I need to stop going for bumps. They keep dodging them. Who's next? Down low enough? Nah, just barely not. He's able to catch it still. 
If I hit it a bit farther towards the ground with that, he might not have been able to save it. What a banger, Cliss. Quite dive. Tried to stall for a sec before I went in. Oh, uh, not over him, barely as well. We get the catch. Decided against, but a little bit too late. I hit it straight to him. Try to hit it high so that they use boost and try to take their boost as well while I'm at it. I might be able to turn for it now, yeah. Try to stay up for their boost again, because it should spawn. Good touch. I don't think it was too risky going up for that boost either. Can get it over. Take that just from Squishy. I want him to have it. Bang! Counter. Good trade. A little bit high, but he might save. I won't be able to get his boost either, will I? Oh, I did. Let's go. Goodbye, a bit of time. He's peak. I've been squeezy, even though I kind of got carried, but whatever. Cyclone seems pretty good though, kind of like it, kind of dig it. Oh, I'm gonna turn music back on now. Pretty good card. I think overall I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a try, honestly. I'm gonna give Cyclone a try. It reminds me of what I liked about Breakout, but it doesn't look nearly as dumb as the Breakout does. Like, the Breakout looks so boxy and I don't really like how it looks, but the Cyclone is the same hitbox and, um... I don't know, I feel like it just looks a lot better. I like it better than the Type S as well. And you can get it painted, so that's a poggers. I don't know. Overall, I like the Cyclone. Pretty good car. Pretty good car. XD. Let's go.